हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स रिएक्टेंस एंड इम्पिंडेंस इन एन एसी सर्किट कंटेनिंग रेजिस्टर ओनली कंटेनिंग इंडक्टर ओनली कंटेनिंग कैपेसिटर ओनली लेट्स एन In case of AC circuit, when a resistor is there, it provides the opposition to the current is known as resistance. And if that AC circuit containing either capacitor or inductor, then the opposition is named as the reactance. For capacitor. it will be capacitive reactance for inductor it will be inductive reactance when capacitor inductor and resistor either any of two or all three are connected in series to an ac circuit then the opposition is named as the impedance here we calculate reactance and impedance in the condition of complex so these are named as complex reactance and complex impedance let's start if the ac circuit containing resistor only we have to consider an ac circuit containing a resistor r having resistance r and alternating emf source that alternating complex voltage alternating let we take uh, the alternating complex voltage is represented at any instant आज v इज इक्वल टू भी नॉट e टू द पावर i ओमेगा t दैट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म वी नो e टू द पावर i थीटा इज रिटेन एज cos थीटा प्लस i sin थीटा दैट कैन बी रिटेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ sin एंड cos इक्वेशन नंबर वन here a complex current developed in the circuit at that instant when complex voltage is given to that of circuit let complex current developed in the circuit at that instant let it i so we use the ohms law then according to ohms law that current i is equal to potential to resistance or i is equal to v that is v not e to the power i omega t divided by r or i is equal to v not by r 
e to the power i omega t that is cos omega t plus i sin omega t then the physical part of that current at any instant the physical part the physical current at this instant is the current we have to find out the real part of this current so the real part of v not by r cos omega t plus i sin omega t the real part is cos omega t i is equal to v not by r cos omega t let equation number 2 and this current will be maximum when the cos omega t is maximum the value of cos is maximum means cos omega t is equal to 1 so here this current is maximum that is i is equal to i not when cos omega t is equal to 1 therefore putting that value here so i becomes maximum i not v not by r the value of cos omega t that is 1 so i not is equal to v not by r now putting this value in the equation we get i is equal to i not cos omega t so equation 2 becomes i is equal to i not cos omega t equation number 3 So, the physical voltage applied is the real part of that complex voltage V. The physical voltage the physical voltage applied is the real part of complex voltage V so the complex part of that V so the complex voltage V is given as the physical voltage V is calculated as the real part of that complex term that is V equal to V naught e to the power i omega t that is the physical voltage or V is equal to real part of V naught cos omega t plus i sin omega t or v is equal to real part v naught cos omega t plus v naught i 
sin omega t the real part of that term with the v not cos omega t therefore v is equal to v not cos omega t equation number 4 now compare these two equations i is equal to i not cos omega t v is equal to v not cos omega t so the current uh, i and voltage uh, v are in the same phase here cos omega t here cos omega t when that ac circuit containing resistor only so the graphical graphically we represent voltage and current so graphically it will be represented as we plot voltage or current in x axis in y axis that is the time here the maximum peak of that voltage v cosine function and another one for i that one for v this one for i so the peak of that v that is v not peak of that i that is i not why i is below that of v since i is equal to v by r i not is equal to v not by r so current the peak of that current value is below to that of peak of that potential. Now, vectorically, vectorically, it is represented as potential and current both are in same phase omega t and omega t. Here, the potential is more, here, the current less that is for potential that is for current that is the vectorically we represent when a circuit containing resistor only it provides the resistance to that of circuit now when the circuit containing inductor only consider an AC circuit containing inductor having inductance L to an AC source let an alternating complex EMF alternating complex EMF at any instant is represented as
v is equal to v naught e to the power i omega t. So, the physical voltage physical voltage v is equal to that is the real part of v naught e to the power i omega t or v is equal to real part v naught that is cos omega t plus i sin omega t the real part of that equation that is v naught cos omega t equation number 1. Look here, let uh, i is the complex current. And di by dt, rate of change of current with time is the ratio sorry that is is the rate of change of complex current at that instant then the potential difference across inductance then potential difference difference across inductor is v is equal to l di by dt potential is equal to resistance rate of change of that current in case of inductor. So, di by dt is equal to v by l or di is equal to v by l dt or di is equal to in place of v v naught e to the power i omega t divided by l dt now integrating both sides integrating both sides integration over di is equal to integration over v naught e to the power i omega t divided by l dt or i is equal to v naught by l integration over e to the power i omega t dt or i is equal to v naught by l integration over e to the power i omega t e to the power i omega t divided by i omega or i is equal to v naught divided by i omega l e to the power i omega t or i is equal to v naught e to the power i omega t that is v divided by i omega l. Look here, now comparing that equation that is comparing with Ohm's law, Ohm's law that is I is equal to V by R, current is equal to potential by resistance. So, potential by resistance, so the resistance offered to that of uh, inductor to that of AC current is the inductive reactance. As here uh, we take the complex form, it will be complex 
इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस द इफेक्टिव रिएक्टेंस या द इफेक्टिव रिएक्टेंस इफेक्टिव रिएक्टेंस ऑफर्ड बाय इंडक्टर ऑफर्ड बाय इंडक्टर दैट इज एक्स एल इज इक्वल टू आई ओमेगा एल दैट इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस दैट इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस ओके आज आवर एम इज टू कैलकुलेट कॉम्प्लेक्स रिएक्टेंस एंड इंपेंडेंस so it is the complex inductive reactance now the physical current we have to calculate the physical current part physical current here then therefore the physical current physical current at that instant is i is equal to real part of v not divided by i omega l e to the power i omega t or i is equal to real part of that quantity v not by i omega l in place of i omega t e to the power i omega t that is cos omega t plus i sin omega t real part of that term it is i is equal to real part v not by i omega l cos omega t plus v not by omega l sin omega t or i is equal to real part of the term that is v not divided by ओमेगा एल साइन ओमेगा टी साइन ओमेगा टी और आई इज इक्वल टू भी नॉट बाई ओमेगा एल कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस पाई बाई टू कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस पाई बाई टू लुक यूर व्हाट शुड बी द मैक्सिमम करेंट व्हेन कॉस ओमेगा टी इज maximum when cos omega t minus pi by 2 is equal to 1 then i is equal to i not that is maximum current therefore i is equal to i not so i is equal to v not by omega l v not by omega l into 1 so putting that value here we get therefore i is equal to i not cos omega t minus pi by 2 i not cos omega t minus pi by 2 that is for current this one for वोल्टेज भि इज इक्वल टू भि नट कस ओमेगा हियर द फेज द डिफरेन्स इन फेज दैट द एसी सर्किट कंटेनिंग इंडक्टेंस द अल्टरनेटिंग ई एम एफ लीड्स द अल्टरनेटिंग करेन्ट बै द फेज पाए बै टू ना वि ग्राफिकाली रिप्रेजेंट हियर ग्राफिकाली रिप्रेजेटेसन graphically and uh, vectorically representation so graphically here v or i is the time the 
that is for V and then I lacks B and that for I. So, vectorically vectorically represent that potential V leads pi by 2 to that of current I and the vectorical representation here in an AC circuit having inductor only alternating EMF alternating EMF leads alternating current by a phase angle as pi by 2 when an inductor is connected to an AC circuit. Now, when a capacitor only is connected to an AC circuit. Look here, again a term is to be maintained. Here, the inductive reactance given to that section look here XL with the complex inductive reactance. So, XL is equal to I omega L or XL is equal to I omega that is 2 pi nu nu with the frequency 12. So, when we plot the graph between plot the graph between inductive reactance to the frequency that is the frequency then the graph will be like this ok. Now, AC circuit containing capacitor only. Same thing we have to follow. Consider an AC circuit. Containing a capacitor having capacitance C. Let an alternating complex voltage. complex voltage is represented at any instant is represented at any instant T is V is equal to V naught e to the power i omega T. So, the physical voltage physical voltage V is equal to real part of this real part of V naught e to the power i omega t or V is equal to real part of V naught cos omega t plus i sin omega t.
और भी इज इक्वल टू रियल पार्ट दट इज भी नॉट कॉस ओमेगा टी इक्वेशन नंबर वन लेट आई बी द कॉम्प्लेक्स करेंट आई इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स करेंट एंड क्यू इज द चार्ज एंड द कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटर एट एनी इंस्टेंट टी सो आज एसी सर्किट कंटेन ओनली कैपेसिटर सो आज एसी सर्किट कंटेन ओनली कैपेसिटर so the instantaneous emf therefore instantaneous emf is equal to potential difference across capacitor potential difference across capacitor इंस्टेंटेनियस ई एम एफ भी इज इक्वल टू इट इज क्यू बाई सी और क्यू इज इक्वल टू सी भी सी इन प्लेस ऑफ भी दैट इज भी नॉट ई टू द पार आई ओमेगा टी सिंस आई इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू बाई डी टी द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ दैट चार्ज d by dt of in place of q that is c v not e to the power i omega t or i is equal to c v not d by dt of e to the power i omega t or i is equal to c v not i omega e to the power i omega t or i is equal to v not i omega c e to the power i omega t or i is equal to v not by 1 divided by i omega c e to the power i omega t v not e to the power i omega t that is i is equal to v divided by 1 divided by i omega c now comparing this with ohm's equation that is current is equal to voltage by resistance so the effective resistance is 1 divided by i omega c the effective resistance offered by the capacitor is xc that is the capacitive reactance 1 by i omega c for complex it will be complex capacitive reactance which is known as capacitive reactance when i plot the graph as xc is equal to 1 divided by i omega c or xc is equal to 1 divided by i 2 pi nu c nu be the frequency so if i plot the graph so frequency is inversely proportional to that of capacitive reactance when we plot the graph between xc and frequency so the graph is looking like this 
एक्स सी इनवर्सली वेरीज उथ फ्रिक्वेन्सि नाउ द फिजिकाल करेन्ट एट एनी इन्स्टैंट हिअर देर फोर द फिजिकाल करेन्ट at that instant is i is equal to the real part of this v not 1 divided by i omega c e to the power i omega t or i is equal to real part i omega c v not e to the power i omega t और आई इज इक्वल टू रियल पार्ट आई ओमेगा सी भि नट एट इज कस ओमेगा टी प्लस आई साइन ओमेगा टी और आई इज इक्वल टू रियल पार्ट आई ओमेगा सी भि नट कस ओमेगा टी माइनस ओमेगा सी भि नट साइन ओमेगा टी और आई इज इक्वल टू माइनस ओमेगा सी भि नट साइन ओमेगा टी और आई इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा सी भि नट सो इट विल बी कस ओमेगा टी प्लस पाई बै टू दैट विल बी माइनस साइन ओमेगा टी कस अफ थीटा पाई बै टू प्लस थीटा दैट इज माइनस साइन थीटा Again, I be the maximum when that cost term will be maximum. When cos omega t plus pi by two is equal to one, then I is equal to I not. That is the maximum current. Now putting that value here, so I is equal to omega c. v not into one or i is equal to omega c v not therefore i is equal to i not cos omega t plus pi by two here the current and the voltage v is equal to v not cos omega t look here Now comparing voltage and current, we have uh, that alternating EMF lags behind the alternating current by the phase angle pi by two. So here graphically, graphically, graphically. when we plot the graph between v or i in x direction and t in y direction this is the potential v and the current i this is the potential v this is the current i i behind that of potential and vectorically vectorically current potential pi by 2 the alternating emf lags behind the alternating current by the phase pi by right here in an ac circuit containing inductor only inductor only the emf lags behind the current by pi by 
this is when capacitor is connected to an AC source. So, with the help of this video lecture we understand the calculation of complex reactance and impedance to an AC circuit that containing resistor only. AC circuit containing inductor only and AC circuit containing capacitor only. So, with this useful uninformation notes.